we will start with uh, uh, sapanji uh, namaste sapanji uh, namaste sunil bhaiya namaste shramila didi namaste to everyone ji bhaiya i will briefly introduce you and you can then start your sharing with the help of the indicators given on screen yeah very briefly uh, sapan chanana ji he is the director of uh, students welfare in the PCTG group of institutes Ludhiana he did his uh, UHB introductory FDP online in May 2020 and he is actively participating in as an FAQ volunteer in the uh, students workshop so with this very brief introduction i welcome uh, swapan chanana ji for placing his uh, sharing in the morning session over to you swapan ji thank you thank you sunil bhaiya for the nice introduction uh my name is swapan born and brought up in ludhiana only uh one sister uh, happily married in australia right now brother elder brother uh, younger sis sister is younger brother is elder and he is also living in ludhiana with his family and currently i am living with my wife two children and mother and i have been in this institute of uh, pct group of institute for last 24 years so now uh, i will try to my best ability what i have learned what are my understanding and living and it will surely help me and others also so uh, before joining uhv sessions the human being was visible in the form of body only this is what i can recollect focus was on the form property or the behavior only but after attending uhv sessions and with self exploration i found that human being is coexistence of self and body self is at the center and body is just an instrument body is cyclic that i can see in me and around when i see the body is aging body ages and then it dies so it is cyclic in nature it is a self which is continuous and i have just experienced this when i when i saw my father in law passed away recently when he was admitted to the hospital and then i saw very closely the relationship between the body and self so self is continuous so what i feel or what my journey till now says the development of self is linear and that is my priority now coming to nature before uhv the whole focus was on myself that also on the body on after uhv i could see the other units also in existence even the human beings and then other three orders now i'm trying to see beyond the form and property of the other units like their innateness and natural characteristic with the help of my Uh, mentors or the resource persons for example to check the property i have seen when i drink warm water early morning it is helping me to pass the bowel very nicely and making my body lighter earlier when i used to see the lizard in my home i had a feeling of opposition to see its form but now i can see it also has a definite role in the nature so i try to find a way for it so that it can go uh, with peace uh, that way and now with this uh, feeling just to be near the nature even me and my wife my wife already has this uh, feeling and she she feels very close to the nature we are planning to have vegetables at our home now at our backyard so this is what about the nature and even when i i uh, share my uh, journey to the college either by i go by cycle or by sharing car with my colleague i think i am contributing to the nature also although there are other aspects also but then i think i'm i'm trying to be means uh, more uh, conscious about the environment because in ludhiana it's lot of vehicles now and industrial city so what i can do so i i'm trying to do with this and about the nature so this is again 
the UHV has taught me. Now about existence, my understanding is this, I can see that I am the coexistence of self and body. And they are connected through space. When I drink water in the morning, the first glass of water, I can very clearly see that it is going in some space. I could feel that space. In this way, I'm trying to see the relationship between different units through space. Now I think uh, the best uh, part, because I've been, uh, I've joined these morning sessions since April, 2021. And I'm trying to be means very regular in both the sessions. So this shows the priority for the self-development. But this human conduct, I think, has been uh, uh, discussed in UHV3. And I think this is the, mid, the, the best takeaway or the major takeaway out of UHV3, the human conduct. Now, what are my understanding about human conduct? I will just talk about that. Uh, it talks, uh, UHV3 talks about human conduct with two models. Model one, I think uh, we are already doing through exercise one, where I'm trying to activate the activities of block P1 uh, and then coming down so that I also have a definite conduct like the other three orders. But model two is guiding through values, policies, and character to have definite conduct in us. Value means what to do, policy means how to do, and character means to bring it in my living, in my behavior, and in my work with the rest of the nature. Yes, I can see myself the values of peace, satisfaction, and bliss, although I can, I'm not able to see them separately. But now I can see I'm comfortable most of the times. And then it is helping me to be kind and have compassion for others. And result of that, it is coming in my behavior as I'm ready to participate, whether at my workplace, at my home also. Not only doing the physical activities, but even uh, whatever my understanding with that, uh, to become complimentary, to become complimentary to make other people also understand. So this is what now means I don't sit at my means at home also Sunday, even if it is Sunday, I get up in the morning and then I'm ready to participate. And at my workplace also, I don't, uh, I don't sit in my office now uh, earlier because I again got from my resource persons in the morning that you can have a sanskar of sitting in the office or you can participate. So I'm seeing my role so I don't sit in my office and then it's coming in my behavior. Uh, so then uh, to the values, to start with the values, yes, in the human-human relationship, the values, uh, those 18 values, yes, the foundation value of trust has come in the form of complementarity. And it is encouraging the teamwork. And as respect has given me the competence to rightly evaluate others, and I'm able to see now others are similar to me. I can see myself this with this now, what is the indication? That irritation has reduced a lot now. I'm more comfortable. I want to give the example of reverence because we are the land of Punjab and Guru Nanak Dev Ji is revered here. And it's now internationally even he's revered for his teachings of uh, Kirt Karo, uh, Simran and Simran Karo or Chako. So in English, it means do the physical work, share with others. So while going to the cycle, to the college, uh, it's not only I'm um, uh, means contributing to the environment and even my body is, yes, that is also one of the now. But now body is not a priority, but it is taken care of by itself. But then I'm, I'm now living his teaching because we are the land of, uh, my mother is, sick and, and so I've been going to Gurdwaras but frankly speaking I was just going to Gurdwaras and just uh, going in front of that but I didn't know the meaning and all. UHV has given me the even to understand the teachings of my guru that do the physical work and then even share whatever you have more with others. So when I'm going to cycle then I'm, I think that I'm following him. He's inspiration for me. And if somebody wants any assistance, especially the understanding, yes, more attention is on that only now. 
because I've seen that recently my mother also got operated. My, my brother was also admitted in the hospital and uh, means they were getting restless, but then I could tell them with all my understanding, I could help them to remain calm. And then even the financial assistance, if somebody comes then with the feeling of prosperity, I've understood it. So I'm ready to help everyone. So I'm able to share my wealth also with them. Similarly, uh, with love, I can see this form when I see Yashvi and Uday in all my students. Now, this is again, I mean, it's very new. Uh, I think I'm trying to work on this more. Yashvi and Uday are my, 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 my daughter and son. And, and then coming to the policies, how to do policy of enrichment, I see when I'm working every second for my self-development and even trying to work for others also. Even I'm now getting an idea that uh, to the society also, I can uh, do this enrichment of self-enrichment uh, because that is the only, I think, the main achievement, uh, enrichment. Yes, body will be taken care. I feel like if I'll go for the self-enrichment, body will be, taken, will be taken care. So earlier when I was young and I was doing a lot of theater and now I go back I will share in the character also where we have seen that the past mistakes we can see to fill the gaps. I was doing theater just to get the recognition and name and fame. But with UHV, I have understood that, okay, the real, uh, what's the reality and then, but so I left the theater. But now with this, uh, uh, because with art form and all this has come in the, uh, in this UHV 3, so I'm able to revive my theater club uh, in my, my, my PCT. And now I've got an idea that, okay, I can reach to the society because human values, yes, I'm teaching to my class, but how can reach to the society? So now I'm planning to conduct a lot of street plays. We have been doing that, but uh, I've shared with my resource persons also physically when I met them in Kanpur also. Then they advise that, okay, and most of the time they're advising that uh, street plays are mostly on the problem based. Uh, they're not solution based. So I, I'm ready to do the experiment on this that, okay, with the uh, help of the art form, if I can reach the society and then I, I can play a part there also. So this is how, uh, and then policy of right utilization example, when I go to cycle on the college, there's right utilization of self body, and the physical facility, although the people feel that I'm doing it for the body, but I think it is only that how I take this sweat and all, what is my, my, my feeling about that? Because I remember that once again, my resource person told me that there are two meanings of the sweat that, okay, one, it is health, it is healthy for the body or you get irritated. So I'm just trying to do the experiment in that also. As far as character is concerned, I have already shared that I've learned from this that, okay, how to live my life in the behavior and all that, even, even how to have the right uh, uh, physical facility and all. So in this, I'm trying to fill, fill the gaps of the past, even like I can see the mistakes in fulfilling the relationships at my workplace and family. A lot of opposition I had uh, means for me also means I have shared that also a lot of frustration that it was even compelling me to that. Okay, let me finish my life or even means I was driving car and if a trigger comes from my, my wife that it used to be like that, what is the worth of the life? And I'm doing so much for my family and they don't understand those kind of frustration. So I'm trying to fill the gaps. This is what I've learned from the character part. So it has improved tremendously my relationship with my mother, uh, my brother, my mother just has turned 81 yesterday. So I am able to even help her because I, I found that relationships have suffered. This is what the uh, in Asan's class is coming that why should I talk to my brothers? They live at very far away place. So my mother is uh, 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 means was again under these assumptions. But then with this UHV, I am able to work on my other's relationship also means I'm. I'm Yesterday in the morning, she got the call from the two brothers living in Malaysia. And she was so happy. And she said that first time or after many years, they have wished me. So again, with the help of UHV, I'm able to achieve this. 
and uh, so now i find her very cheerful even at the age of 81 now coming to exercise 1 i can see the four steps together whether i am comfortable or not uh, i can see them now that i am responsible for my comfort and discomfort this is very clear now earlier it was all always complaining about others that maybe means others are means frustration and lot and even even i was a lot of discomfort with myself means i am responsible the regrets and all so this are now these four steps are making me that aware that i should be aware of my imagination and most of the times i am able to see that the fifth step i i think the both exercises always we see that it's very important that it helps to see my sanskar behind the feeling i still see you know, sometimes sanskar of considering myself when i see that i am different from other although it is very less now but still when it comes then obviously it leads to disrespect and now most of the time i can see the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence is naturally acceptable to me so my participation has increased so i don't at all levels of my living i don't feel tired in the self earlier i have shared earlier in my i, I, I always had a headache uh, i was and i was thinking that this is what the life is and but i was not able to locate it or even i was able to locate it but no solution was there i knew that this is a depression going on in me and frustration by seeing the others behavior at my workplace or in the society also all my environment but i was not finding the solution but i was trying too hard through body or through my behavior but uh, it will not it would not have worked obviously because there was no awareness of the self so with the awareness of the self the major take away in exercise one we all know is the self i think so so i am not trying to find solutions rather than talking about problems so this is how my even colleagues are telling me at my workplace and they they express it because justice when you you can evaluate when you express it 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 comes back so some even strangers they come parents as a student welfare they come they come with lot of opposition but and then i'm listen to them and then i whatever my ability with the help of uhb with self exploration i'm trying to find the solution i can see the pain of the parents i can see the pain of the students then i i work accordingly and then people are compelled to see, um, tell me effectively that even they were not i don't give them that solutions which they find favorable but then i spend time with them so even if i'm not giving them the favorable solutions but then they can i'm i'm spending time to uh, to make them understand or to see with the reality then they say that okay they are satisfied even they come with lot of opposition so this is how i can evaluate that it is working now coming to exercise 2 yes i can see the self and body are two different entities as i have been doing experiment to see this like i started doing fasting of karwa chauth and navratras to see if if i give instruction to the body not to eat and even drink water it obeys although i get uh, i'm getting sensation of hunger and thirst from body but if i don't pay attention to them i get busy in some other work then i don't read them it shows that i am not sensation i am not in the sensation and there is a distance between self and body similarly i am not using ac at home my office or in the car to see the outside environment effect on me and i i see if i am busy in self development i don't read them and i am not reacting so i am improving my sanskar of considering myself as body by doing these experiments and getting the clarity that body is just an instrument and physical facilities are instruments for the body as i have left eating non vegetarian long ago and now even one more addition i have left even uh, uh, taking tea now with the daily routine in take physical work and asan and pranayam i have reduced my weight by 10 kg in last one year so people get worried i am getting thinner and even people see that what are you doing have you joined some gym but i cannot tell them that okay what i am going to is a self development which is resulting in taking care of my body also so it's a tremendous means feeling means obviously they don't know means they feel that i'm doing some so my wife also get worried sometimes because people comment 
and I go to my in-laws place, what are you doing? <laughs> not giving him something to eat. He's getting leaner day by day. But then uh, I cannot tell them that, okay, then I just take it in that way. I think I have already mentioned the, the changes in my living. In the end, I will say that I have become a lighter person, lighter human being than ever before. But I think lighter in self was more important. I think all of you are understanding it. A lot of baggages which we were carrying and it was affecting my body also. And then I was doing a lot of things to improve my body. The whole concentration was on the body just to get ready, more clothes and all, uh, trying to get uh, favorable appreciation from the others. Now I'm spending most of the time in my office. I'm not going and gossiping with my senior or like that. But, so I'm just concentrating on my work and and spending more time with myself only. So that has made me lighter in every aspect. So in the end, I will say, as far as the commitment is concerned, I'm fully devoted to the self-development through these morning sessions. And at my college, I'm teaching this course to my best ability. We all can understand that the, we have a scarcity of uh, the people who can teach this course. So, but then I'm, I'm ready to take as many hours. So right now I'm also taking a lot of hours People are surprised that how can you take so many hours because people are used to see that, okay, I cannot teach these many hours, but with this self development I can stand in the class for four hours with the breaks and all. So I'm ready to devote even six hours, eight hours, but, but people around me are surprised. So I have to keep a balance in that. So I'm seeing that even one person can make the difference. This, this is what again being said in our UHP sessions by our resource persons and I'm, I'm, I'm I'm seeing it in myself that even one person can make the difference in the environment with the right understanding and living. So I've started participating in the student workshop as volunteer. Yes, this was lacking in me. But then the whole day in the college and then the morning, uh, so much to contribute. Earlier, I was not contributing at my home also. I've been sharing this again and again. Yes, I can devote more time in the evening for more activities. As I have left even the private coaching again, Feeling of prosperity was not there. Working in the college and doing, doing private coaching. Being engineer, I was doing private coaching even I was my, my college days also. I continued with that. But now with the feeling of prosperity, the first time I've left this. Uh, and then I did the experiment also once that, okay, I will not take money from the students. And then that way, because I am seeing them as the family. So I left that now in the evening, the feeling of prosperity. I'm ready to spend more time with the family and even the workplace. Earlier it was just like we was have, um, students were waiting at my home. So I had to leave. Uh, I was not even fully committed to my workplace also. So now I, even I sit there and whatever my plans that, okay, we'll spend more time with the students. That is my family and we'll contribute because now, now we have 4,000 students in our college and even the foreign students are there, 400. So I can see them also as my children because they're coming from the different countries, different colors, different religion. So it's again, the experiment is very nicely because in my class, even the foreign students are sitting. When I tell them this all universal values, they also nod in, uh, means it's a universal issues. So they, they, it helps again to do this experiment. This, this, this education is universal in nature. And I think that's, so in the end, I will say gratitude for all who have helped and who are helping in this journey of my self development. That's it. That's it from my side. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sapanji, for this uh, experiential sharing. Enriching. Hey, namaste, Swapanji. Namaste, Didi. Namaste. Namaste, namaste. As always, it's nice to hear your sharing. And uh, um, I think, you know, to begin with, a lot of things, a lot of changes you had described in the first sharing about working on the body, going to office on bicycle, so many things, as also working with students in your area, in your participation in the community. Um, students also and the elderly who are um, without too much support 
are you still involved with those activities uh, yes nidhi um, we are giving projects i could not mention because again miss some things uh, we have already mentioned this uh, in our or uhp courses where the students are going uh, and in their local because in, in in punjab you know this is a problem that old parents are living alone and, mm -hmm. uh, and children are going abroad so we have given them this projects and old age homes are increasing day by day in ludhiana so we are um, we have a project for them where they will go and they will get sensitive about these issues and maybe they this they stop thinking about going abroad so this project is already on and even mm -hmm. i have done it in my my campus the cleanliness and all means um, again they're planning it further because you all know that this is a big issue in our campuses littering and all so that also i'm planning this time very yes, nice very nice a lot of times you know in our enthusiasm we start some projects but the maintenance um, and the continuity drops down as time goes so that is very commendable that what you started you have been able to continue and follow through um and also i can see your growth in the beginning lot of sharings used to be there i think now you are giving time for the newcomers to share more but i can see that the exploration is still continuing yes nilly yes <laughs> mm -hmm. other thing no, i was uh, yes. noting is that like you mentioned about aged parents like your own mother and how um, your relationship with them with your children with your wife has improved a lot of times what happens is as siblings we share a common bond with our parents but within the siblings sometimes the relationships tend to become we get distant in our relationships with our siblings so with that what happens is that when the parents pass away then the relationship kind of becomes um yes then more distant yes, so the next generation mm -hmm. yes. yes so to continue into the next generation to have the um children also see the relationship with their cousins with yes. you know others uh, that is also significant very important really. yeah uh because otherwise this is how we are breaking down from larger families into smaller and smaller and smaller units yes, so yes. to be able to maintain that larger view and that is like we say a training ground for working in society because the more we see our relationship at least within our small units the more we can expand and see it beyond that yes. into the community like you are doing yes. so i think these are very significant and important achievements yes that's why i wanted to bring it up so that you know other who have joined you who may not know you from before are also aware of the work that you are doing um of course like we always say this working on our sanskars working for transformation this is a very long drawn out process yes, it takes a long time and we may be seeing our sanskars some of our gross sanskars but there may be some many of our hidden deeper sanskars so as we keep working on ourselves as we keep you know staying aware there's not that much work to do except staying aware and seeing the feeling checking if it is in line with natural acceptance or not and things seem to be happening on their own after that yes mm -hmm. only thing is when we have some very deep sanskars we may find it that even though we can see that we are not having the right feeling but the sanskar seems to take over sometimes and um leads us to 
the feeling that is not naturally acceptable. So in those cases, to be able to see those sanskars and eventually overcome those and move in the direction of right understanding, that part has to continue, of course. Yes. And as we keep going, you find the effort becomes less and less. In the beginning, yes. it may have seemed like a lot of effort. And you may notice that the effort becomes less and less, except perhaps for some of the very um, deep-rooted sanskars. So yes. it, this is uh, what, you know, it. Uh, we start the process, we take the decision to become aware, and then it is almost as if things start happening. Yes. Automatically. Yes, yes. It's a very beautiful journey. And yes, uh, I can see that, you know, you are going full steam ahead. So yes, all, yes. The best, all the best of our wishes. Thank you so much, dear. Onward journey and your volunteering activities also. All the Thank best. you. Dear. Thank you. Thank you to all. Thank you. <clears throat>